Today I'm going to take a look at the new Foxier Legend 1 camera. This is a camera dedicated mostly for FPV flights. It's a very light camera uh, and uh, it's meant to be put on a quadcopter or helicopter or uh, RC car. And uh, what's also special about it is that it has a live FPV video out and uh, it can also be connected to a receiver and can be controlled from a remote controller you can uh, take pictures or uh, start the video recording with uh, a simple configuration of it so i'm going to unbox it now We get a small manual. Okay. Here's the camera. These are for design here. It has two main buttons. I'm gonna take it out here. It has a rubber uh, filling. It has uh, two ports. Uh, mini USB and uh, this is a micro HDMI port I'm going to take this off okay. and you can start it with a press of a button and so on it has multiple modes you can switch to uh, another uh, video mode and to photo mode And this is a shutter button. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, so we get a basic mini USB cable, and this is a FPV dedicated cab cable. It has a 10 pin mini USB and on this side we have the power for the camera uh, you need to supply 5 volts to it we have the video cable and this is the remote control cable which can be connected to a receiver for a remote operation I'm going to do a demo of a FPV install so I will need a battery for the transmitter, a battery for the receiver. Uh, I will also have a video transmitter, a video receiver, an LCD monitor. And uh, I will need additional power cables, a voltage regulator and another voltage regulator here. I also have the Turning G9X remote. and. It's a receiver so I'm going to connect them all together for you to see how to use the Fox here in a FPV situation so I'm going to connect the mini USB plug to the camera I'm going to also install the SD card micro SD card camera now I'm going to use the voltage regulator for the receiver okay now the other battery will be used for supplying power to another voltage regulator which will uh, power the monitor This is separate from this. Okay. This is the Ishin TS8332 transmitter. Going 
to install the antenna first. It's very important not to start this without the antenna. I'm going to connect the video cable. So, on the Foxier cable, on the original Foxier cable, you have, uh, as I shown you, three main plugs. It's uh, very easy to distinguish them. The yellow and black one, it's for video signal. Yellow, it's a video signal. Uh, black is ground. The red and uh, black one is for uh, supplying power to charge the internal battery. I will not going to use this as uh, this has the battery almost fully charged. And we also get this uh, white and black cable which will connect to the receiver. And we can control the camera from uh, the remote controller here. I'm going to also use a battery to power all this up. And I'm going also to install the receiver. To have a remote control over the camera, you first need to bind it with uh, your uh, transmitter setup. Uh, this is done uh, very easy. Uh, I'm going to power on the receiver. So I have power to the receiver. The camera is using its uh, USB cable. It's connected on the receiver, this cable. I'm going to power on the remote. The remote is on. I'm going to put the three position combination switch in the middle. I'm going to start the camera. The camera is on. Now, to pair it up, you need to hold the shutter button around two seconds. You are going to hear a beep sound. And you can see it's flashing green and blue. Uh, I'm going to leave the button in the middle, press again the sh shutter, another beep, I'm going to select first position, up, I'm going to press the shutter again, and now I'm going to select not the middle but the second position and press the shutter button again. So now the camera should be programmed, I'm going to select the middle position which is uh, standby for the camera, and when I uh, select the first position you can see the camera already has uh, started now it's on uh, photo mode and it's uh, doing uh, sequential photos if I put the switch back to the middle it will enter standby and if I select the second position it starts to record video so it was very easy to set up and you can control it from the remote pictures, standby, video. I'm gonna turn it off and the remote and uh, I'm going to connect it to the FPV set with the transmitter and the receiver. To set up FPV it's uh, very easy. You just need to connect the yellow and black cable to your uh, transmitter. I'm going also to power on the transmitter. I'm using a small LiPo for powering it up. So this is the cam. I'm also going to power on the camera. Okay. Now I'm going to power on the monitor. also its uh, receiver and as you can see we have image from the camera the delay is uh, minimal 
almost uh, not uh, seeable. You can switch modes, a video mode, picture mode. It works very good and it has uh, very lively colors on uh, the camera probably the monitor does not uh, show the colors properly but wait uh, I'm gonna try to somehow see it for you better you can see the colors better and also you can see the delay not uh, a big delay here you can see the full uh, setup I have two small lipos one is uh, powering the receiver the other is power on the video transmitter the camera is uh, connected to the video transmitter and to the receiver also the video receiver and the monitor are powered on i'm going to turn on the remote controller okay i'm going to select the middle position for the camera control switch i'm going to power on the camera camera is on and we have a video signal on the monitor so if i want to take pictures i'm going to select the picture and the camera has already started to do sequential pictures it's a default set to do a picture every three seconds i can now select standby so i just have a video on monitor and i can also select the third position for the camera to record video and it's now recording and i can stop the recording the camera it's on standby we can uh, have uh, the information on the screen you will see that the camera it's uh, also doing pictures or recording video it's not only transmitting uh, live video but uh, it's also showing its uh, status i'm going to add uh, uh, videos from the camera soon to see its uh, video quality this was just an uh, unboxing and first setup for it Bye-bye.